So in this uh, video, what we are going to say is, what are the types of expressions available? So when you say types of expression, it can be broadly divided into three. Infix notation, prefix notation and postfix notation. Prefix notation is otherwise called as Polish notation and postfix notation is otherwise called reverse Polish notation. So now we are going to see before uh, going through the what is infix, prefix, postfix, first we will see the operator precedence. So operator precedence is nothing but uh, when you express any equation, you may be having plus, minus, uh, exponentiation, then parenthesis, all those things. So which has more precision? How the computer will uh, evolve it? When uh, plus and minus comes, to multiplication comes, well, which it will evolve it first? Because depending upon that, the value of the variable, value of the expression may change. So first, before going through the types of expression, we should know the precedence of the operator. So anything with the, which is represented within the opening and uh, closing parenthesis has more precedence. Uh, before this, it, uh, exponentiation is also having more importance. Then uh, after this, exponentiation has more importance. Then postfix operators. After this, the postfix operator, if you have written within that uh, square bracket, so when it's my index, and then x plus plus, x minus minus, these are all the postfix operators. They have the next, uh, in the precedence level, they have the uh, next lesser precedence than the parenthesis. So if you see from here bottom, assignment operator has the lowest precedence, and then logical R, then logical N, then Boolean, equal to, not equal to, will be the next one in the hierarchy of uh, precedence. And then relational operator, then plus and minus. Uh, here you may see more than one operator is the uh, plus, minus, then star, star, and uh, that is multiplication and division mod operator has more precedence than plus and minus. But here two operators are there, plus, minus, and here three operators are there. Among this, which has more precedence? It's nothing but from the occurrence of left to right. The order in which they occur from when you're writing an expression, uh, the order in which they come from left to right, when you scan the expression from left to right. So for example, if star is coming first and then the division, then star will be evaluated. That is multiplication will be evaluated first and then division. If division come first and then multiplication comes, division will be carried over first and multiplication. So the order in which they come. But given these two, this will be evaluated first, then only the plus and minus. And then before this, a uh, 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 new operator, which is used for creation of an object, uh, instance of an object, that has more precedence. And then unary operator, finally postfix, and finally the parenthesis. So if you evolve with this from the lower to higher precedence, this has the more precedence and this has the lowest precedence. Now we'll see the expressions. So what is meant by infix expression? Humans can understand the infix expression easily because that is what we are using uh, daily in our day-to-day -day life when you are trying to express any mathematical equation. So the one here in an expression when the operators are used in between, Operands. So what do you mean by operators and operands? Operators are nothing but plus, minus, exponentiation, equal to relational operators, logical operators, those comes under operators. Operands are nothing but the variables. So here if you see this equation A plus B, this is the operator and A and B are the operand. So when the operator comes in between two variables, or two operands, then you call it as infix notation. And this is what human can understand easily. Then prefix notation or police notation. Here what we do is we write this operator before the operand. So for example, here, the same A plus B is written like this. A plus then AB. Likewise star AB, which is nothing but multiplication symbol. So in an expression, when the operator is written ahead of the operand, before the operands, that is prefixed before operand, we call that as a prefix notation. Then postfix, if the operator comes after the operand, see here, AB plus AB star, 
uh, that is multiplication symbol so what you say that is called uh, when you are post fixing the operator after the operand then we call it as a post fix notation so why we need a post fix in fix expressions are readable and solvable by humans because of easily distinguishable order of operators we use parentheses then and there in order for the easy reading all those things but when you apply uh, those things to a computer computer finds very difficult to remove the uh, brackets and a computer cannot differentiate between the operators and parentheses that much easily hence to solve the infix expression compiler will scan the expression multiple times to solve the sub expression in expression when there is uh, within bracket you have inner bracket you have another expression inner bracket you have. so it will find it's very difficult and it keep on doing that which leads to inefficiency so to avoid this traversing in fix expressions are converted to post fix expression before also in post fix expression there is no parentheses while converting itself we will remove all the parentheses and then only it will be given to the computer to solve the equation so in that way it is very efficient let us see some of the example of post fix and prefix notation a plus b can be written first we will see prefix and then we will see post fix notation as i said prefix you will add the operator before so given the in fix notation which is familiar to us we are going to convert it into prefix so a operand b operand then plus is written before now if we see this uh this a plus b here you have to apply the precedence rule anything which is given within bracket has to be evaluated first so in that case you have to write it as a then b so b4 plus because prefix you have to take this as one operand now you can close it within bracket you can treat this as an operand and then start c now again evaluating this what happened you can consider this as an operand and this as an operand now this star can be written before so here this then you have to remove the bracket now when you see see this is the example star plus a b c now if you see this equation first you have to evaluate b and c because it is given in the bracket so now next uh, you have to consider this as one equation non operand and this as one operand so star is in between that has to brought to brought to for multiplication symbol so now you write a and then star so now see this is the answer now you have got the prefix notation now if you see this uh, a division by b and c division by d has more precedence then only plus will be evaluated so what you have to do a b take the operand and then the operator will be prefixed and now you have this plus and then same slash c d now this will be considered one operand this will be considered one operand now the plus goes before so now what happens now plus becomes here now this is the equation this nothing but the equation which we have got prefix conversion now you can say take this again you have to take only the one within the parenthesis so uh, here if you see this parenthesis and all have been removed here also it has been removed so that is the main thing what uh, of this work, work out is removal of parenthesis so a but still the precedence is maintained so a plus b the one which is within the parenthesis already and it is written in a postfix form prefix form and then here we have star then plus c d now you can take now you can take this as one operator as uh, so operand and this as one operand this is operator so now this operand will come operator will come before now you can see this is the answer yes now we see this example here it has inner bracket and then on outer bracket so how this will be evaluated 
you know the first the inner loop inner balances will be evaluated first so accordingly a b and then plus so now this has been evaluated and here it is then the outer balances now c is the operand so we write the operand and then start before that is a multiplication symbol then again this whole thing will be considered as one operand and this will be considered as one operand and in between operator so now the operator comes before and then you write d see here is the answer now a b here a star uh, so what will happen a b you will be right there is no parenthesis so left to right not only left to right uh, here star uh, multiplication is plus is that the star has more precedence so these two will be evaluated and then finally plus will be evaluated so what happened c star star c d and then the plus is that plus will be evaluated as last so that will be put here see this So the next one we have all as the same precedent so from left to right a and then b now the plus will be placed now this will be considered and this will be the operand this will be the operand and this will be the operator and this will be the operand so c and then here the top operator comes before now this will be one thing and this will be one operand operator so plus will be placed here again here it is d so this is the var postfix conversion sorry prefix conversion now here the last one a plus b star c plus d so how it will be done first uh, here plus is the multiplication plus so this will be evaluated first so what happened b c and then star now left to right because this is also plus this is also plus so from left to right now what happened uh, here b c this is evaluated so this is the operand and this is another operand so plus plus a so this operator goes before so plus a then here c plus d so what happened the whole thing will be considered one operand this will be another operand so now you write d and then here plus now you can see the answer now we will consider this uh, prefix notation now we will see how it is evaluated postfix you know it will be written afterwards after the operand so here a b plus for this how you have to evaluate again the same rule parenthesis has to be considered first so a b a b plus and then star c is that this will be one operand this will be another operand star is that so c multiplication so see here this is the answer then now when you see this again bracket will be evaluated first bc plus and then this is this is one operand this is another operand then so a here multiplication comes so this is our answer so how this will be evaluated a again a b dash then c d slash so this is one operand this is one operand plus is the so that goes last here this is the answer now how this will be evaluated <coughs> a b plus and then c d plus will be evaluated so in between star is the that comes last there is a it will be po, uh, post fixed so this is the answer now you see this uh, again inner parenthesis a b plus and then this is one operand this is another operand this is operator so write the operate operand and then start operand as the last post fix now this is one operand this is one operand this is the operator so now we write the operand and then this operator comes last so this is our answer
Okay, now if you see this, A, B, star, and then C, D, star, finally plus. Because this, this will be considered as one operand, this is one operand, the operator, so it comes, it will be prefixed. Then this A, B, plus, and then C, plus, and then D, plus. Then the last one, uh, B, C, star, now A, la, it goes plus here, and again D, plus. So this will be our output. Because uh, B, C is evaluated first, and it will be the uh, multiplication is uh, post-fixed, and then again these two from again since it is also plus it left right so a is uh, a and b this uh, the whole thing will be taken as another operand so plus comes after this star and then this will be considered as one operand d will be considered that plus so it, it is prefixed <laughs>